Hi guys, it's Friday, pizza night. Jada and I are going to make our famous pizzas. I'm making my keto pizza and she's making her. We are going to make her favorite pizza. And hopefully we're going to sneak in some turkey pepperoni on her pizza. Hopefully again this time. And she'll try it instead of just plain cheese like always. But we'll see. She's upstairs in the bathroom, so uh, for now I'm going to get the pizzas ready, dough, and preheat the oven to 350. And I'm going to pop this because it scares her. Uh, these things never work for me. before she gets here. There we go. There. That wasn't a bad pop. Just had to beat it up a little bit. So I'm going to do her dough real quick, stretch it out. I just used the Pillsbury Doughboy um, pizza dough. I should have showed the camera, I apologize. Pillsbury pizza crust. So right now I'm just stretching it all the way out as best as I can. My hands are washed. I have my family over everything apron on and believe it or not, my shirt on too. Family over everything. Thank you, Alicia Michelle. Wash your hands, please. <laughs> you put your headband on that you made? Yep. Yep. You did a great job. Proud of you. And um, before I put the pizzas down, I didn't mention that I did spray them with olive oil. Both pizza pans. So my pizza crust is keto. It's cauliflower made with cauliflower and uncured pepperoni and cheese. I don't have the box right now, otherwise I would read the specs on it, but I don't have that. So my frozen pizza, probably see better if I do that. There we go. Okay. So Jada, um, here, why don't we just have you start with putting sauce on your pizza and you know which which um, utensil to use to spread the sauce, right? Where is it? Do you think you, uh, I was going to say, do you think you can find it first? I found it. I think my coffee fell in the drawer. Now I have to clean the drawer out. Or excuse me, my espresso. You. It's not you. It's just because it needs to be mixed up. That's all. Just needs to be stirred up like that. So you can spread it on your pizza. And then this one will be all gone and then we can start a new one. More sauce. All right. You ready to sauce it up? 
you want to want Sorry, to I was just showing off my headband. Oh, were you? Did you show the camera? Yeah. Good job. I'm proud of you. Uh, would you like to sauce it up? Yeah. Okay, go right ahead. But there's something on here. Yeah, let me fix it. Let me clean it. There's a couple little black things on there. And, um... It probably might be coffee. Yeah. They're much better. Okay. So, we have turkey pepperoni. And we have shredded mild cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. And Mom's going to grab my vegetables. Frozen, I'm joking. Kind of, sort of. Not really. Kind of. Just cut. Okay, so that mushrooms, and we'll go with mushrooms and spinach. You know it. And uh, Italian seasoning. Mom forgot Italian seasoning. Almost forgot to get the Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. Good. I'm glad. It tastes, it makes the better taste of the pizza. It sure does make the pizza taste much better. So I'm going to add my seasoning I'm first. I'm out of sauce. Keep putting it on and I'll help you spread it out. That should be good enough. Uh-oh. Oh, what? there's a bubble. Can't have a bubble. It will ruin the pizza. Good job. I Me learned too. that from baking. That's right. And Mom also taught you that because remember I used to work for pizza places for a long time. Yeah, but you haven't teach me about the bubbles. Yeah, I remember when that happened to our pizza one time. And it was very burnt. Yeah, and the cheese went off of the bubble, remember? You got yeah. mad because the cheese was off of the crust. Yeah. Yeah, it happens sometimes. We need more sauce. Still some more in here. But you're pretty good on the sauce. You want to grab some cheese? It, it's like painting, but yeah. splashing some tomato. <laughs> painting and splashing some tomato, huh? All right. Good job. Um, tomato. You want to go ahead and start with the cheese? Be yes. careful and spread it all over. And I'm going to... I'm going to shred that pizza. So, are you going to have pepperoni this time? Yeah. <gasps> Yay. How much pepperoni are you going to have? Like half? Half of your pizza? Yeah, half of my pizza. Half of your pizza? Good job. Oh, yeah. Should we switch sides? Why? I think we should switch sides. Why? Oh, because you want to show in your camera? Or maybe you don't want to be showed in the camera. Well, it's kind of hard to get both of us at the same time. I'm adding extra pepperoni on mine, too. I'm cheating. <clears throat> so cheating. Mushrooms. Spread them all out. I think you're good with the cheese on there. Don't you think that's too much with the cheese? Yeah. Okay. That's so let me help you here a little bit. Good job though. Very good job. Okay. So, 
Do you want to touch the pepperoni or do you want mom to do it? You do it. Okay, just one second. We got sensory issues. So she does not like the feeling of certain things. And one certain thing is meat. She will not. She will. Sometimes she'll try new things. But, and sometimes she'll, she'll uh, touch them. But um, she, she usually goes and grabs my gloves. And she got kind of got in trouble for that because my gloves are more important. Do you want more than that? Yes. Yes? You want to keep going? Okay. You say stop. Okay. You tell me when you stop. You want half this time? Okay, done. Wow, that was a lot of pepperoni. Good job. Yeah, to make the half with the half. Okay, now let me, um, can make you put this even. in the refrigerator for me, pretty please? Okay. So let me just no, put a little tiny little bit of cheese to cover that pepperoni, just a tad bit. Because you did pretty good on cheese. You did really good. All right, now we need your Italian seasoning. Oh, I need that cheese. I shouldn't. Could you throw these things in the garbage? Good job. Thank you. I need to put spinach on mine and Italian seasoning on yours. You want to try? Be careful. Real slow. Just kind of go like this. I know I have to do. Well, you don't want it to come out too fast. Because then it will be too much and you can't take it off. That's perfect. Yeah, because you're doing it. Well, that, I mean, the way you shake it, don't shake it this way. Like this back and forth? Yeah, you go like this. And that's why I was doing your hand like that. So not like this, you go like that. And and and, and kind of slow. Wanna put that in the cupboard for please? You know where it goes, don't you? Good job. And that's exactly where it goes. Alright, so I already got the oven turned on. We call it preheating. And mom's going to load it up with spinach. You want some spinach on your pizza, Jada, or mushrooms? I don't like spinach. Okay, mine, um, I understand. But I'm going to keep asking every time, because maybe some, someday you'll change your mind. Remember, I used to not like spinach when I was younger, too, when I was your age. But now... I like lots of spinach. I'm going to put as much as I can on here because it shrinks up. Plus, going shopping in the morning. <laughs> I swear, guys, this will shrink up. And you guys can see the, um, the end results on my Facebook, which is also my real name, Crystal Lee Boyer. If you're not already a friend, come follow me. Okay, cheese on top to kind of bind, hold oh, down the spinach. Oh, it's becoming like a pie. <laughs> like, come, becoming like a pie? Yeah, and cheese and spinach don't mix well. Oh, yes, they do. Spinach is really good in something called quiche. It has cheese and um, you can put meat in there, but it mostly has eggs and cheese. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. 
And I love it when you put spinach in it. Oh, right. So they're ready to go in. You want to go grab the timer? I think I left it in the living room, actually. I was timing last night. When you want to grab it, Jada? It should be on my uh, little side table thing. I think we used enough cheese, don't you think? You yeah. sure you don't want spinach? No, so thank you. So we'll set the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll check it. Mine cooks longer than hers. So, all right, guys. Have a happy Friday. Have a good weekend. And until next time, we will see you later. Hmm. You're awesome. I love you. Ah, I love See you, you later. Ciao for now. <laughs> she made that all by herself. She sewed it by hand. Good job. Oh, and this is made out of cardboard. It is. And what is this made out of? Oh, I put like black stickers and put a tape on it and put glue this that it would stay on my headband. So you took a piece of tape and you drew on it and then you put it on No. Oh you put it on, put it on a piece of paper and then glued it on there? No. I used one of the black stickers and turned it into the piece like this. Oh I see. I apologize. Good job. And I put the tape on the top. Oh and then the tape on top. Wow, very creative. Turn around, let me see the back. Very, very, very creative. All hand done. All hand sewn. So when are you going to use your sewing machine? I don't know. You don't know? All when right. is a good time for me to do the sewing when it's machine? A, when it's a good time. We'll figure it out. All right. So, for now, we'll be sewing by hand. Alright guys, till next time, till next video. Ciao for now.